डिलेड कॉर्ड क्लैम्पिंग ब्यूटिफुल शुड वी डू येस और नो डिलेड कॉर्ड क्लैम्पिंग वेन एवर क्यूटी पाई इज बॉर्न वेन एवर न्यू बॉर्न बेबी इज बॉर्न दिस इज द हैप्पी बेबी अ टर्म हेल्दी बेबी दिस ब्यूटिफुल हार्ट शेप इज द प्लेसेंटा लाइक दिस इज द अम्बलिकल कॉर्ड एंड दिस प्रिटी क्यूटी पाई थिंग इज द प्लेसेंटा ओके वन ब्यूटिफुल थिंग आई रिमेंबर प्लीज रिमेंबर वेन एवर यू डिलीवर अ बेबी नो लाइक द गाइनी पीपल एंड pediatrician will be there uh, once the baby is out one more thing beautifully you should say you should see whether the placenta is intact or not whether the placenta is dispersed or cotyledons are there or it's like you know it's it's is it a beautiful intact placenta that is something my hod had told like this is you should know you should see the baby and how is the placenta because the placenta is not intact or not a good beautiful placenta like in the picture the baby can have multiple problems So now the topic of choice is delayed cord clamping, like delayed, delayed. Now very very important, like in our hospital, in any government setup, uh, we delay the cord clamp for at least sixty seconds. Whenever a newborn baby is born, normally a normal vaginal delivery, in that you wait for sixty seconds and then. then you clamp and cut clamp and cut the umbilical cord like you might be knowing like i'll put like two fingers away two fingers away i'll put one clamp like that then one more clamp i'll put and then i'll tell someone to cut it clamp and cut very very important okay so why 60 seconds sir why are we waiting for 60 seconds to you know for the umbilical cord uh, so most importantly number one in a healthy normal deliveries we wait for 60 seconds don't think that uh, every cesarean every emergency mother have pre eclampsia eclampsia you are doing a delayed cord clamping no if the mother is stable baby is stable looks fine you then you delay the cord clamping okay but why sir why are you delaying the cord clamp so most importantly what is the target the beautiful thing is that we are we just want whatever the blood whatever the blood is there in the in the this 45 to 48 cm our beautiful umbilical cord whatever the blood is there we want that baby blood basically to go towards the baby we want that this extra blood which is there which, which is a very good quantity actually we want this blood to go to the baby very very important so what is the benefit it will, the baby will have the baby will have less chances of anemia are you understanding there's nothing to cram kind trying trying to understand the concept if we are giving someone extra blood or this blood in the of the placenta naturally uh, anemia uh, chances will be less in the baby blood transfusions chances will be less in the baby obviously very important chances of intraventricular hemorrhage also will be less in the baby and also there is an entity known as nec what is nec any nec is nothing but necrotizing enterocolitis necrotizing enterocolitis so this is like an nec is one beautiful chapter we're going to talk about it in the end of the video in the end of the segments so just remember that there is some problem of the baby something related to intestine known as necrosis of the intestine happens in the baby who are usually a preterms or who are usually a bottle fed baby i'm trying to give you a glimpse of the thing okay necrotizing enterocolitis necrotizing enterocolitis some intestine ka necrosis is there why intestine necrosis is happening in a baby because number one that that specific baby is a preterm baby and that specific baby is usually on the bottle fed baby basically uh, because mother's milk has beautiful anti like have some amazing protective factors top feeding with something known as top feeding top or top feed or nothing but bottle feed like a milk or a cow or a buffalo yeah cow buffalo milk and all that so that's not good for the baby so if preterm baby you give top feed or bottle feeding one your brain should get a message that the baby can have some some stomach problem which has some abdominal distension known as necrotizing enterocolitis and in a beautiful in a case of delayed cord clamping the baby will have less chances of anemia less chances of blood transfusions less chances of intraventricular hemorrhage and less chances of necrotizing enterocolitis this is one basic thing which i can understand okay